If I was to go through your Evernote or you go through mine, you'd find the usual array of meeting notes, magazine articles to read, maybe some legal documents and the like. But I must admit, I also have some other interesting things that may be a little bit out of the ordinary, but are useful to me. I'm Dave Edwards. Today, some interesting things I keep in Evernote. Maybe this will give you some ideas or you'll just think I'm weird. I keep a lot of notes related to my business, important documents with originals in a safe box. I keep checklists, receipts, stuff like that in Evernote. But I also have some other things like all of my membership numbers for hotel and airline clubs. I can't tell you the number of times I've checked into a hotel and they say, are you a member of our club? And I go, I think I am. And with a couple of clicks, I've got the number. I have a list of my favorite restaurants, not only in my hometown, but in other cities I've visited. I also note when I ate there and what I ate. My wife and I tried a new restaurant uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, when I'm recording this, and it was a great Italian restaurant that people have told um, us about. And so we went there, made a reservation, had a lovely, lovely time, uh, had some appetizers, we enjoyed the meal. We are going back to this restaurant. So when I got home, I made a note for that restaurant, including a link to the menu, the phone number where they take reservations. And then I made a little notation with the date. And then I wrote down what I ate and the fact that I liked it and would like to have it again. Uh, and then what my wife ate and the fact that she didn't really care for it and would like to try something different. The number of times we go into a restaurant and go, what did I like at this place? Now I can look it up in Evernote. I also keep a note uh, on all of the people that I deal with regularly. This could be family members, friends, acquaintances. I make a note of their birthday and their anniversary. I write down like the wine that they like to drink, the name of their kids and their grandkids. It's a good way for me to remember all the details about the people that I meet. Here's a good example. Um, I go see my dentist a couple of times a year. And whenever I see him, he always talks about his kids. He's very proud of them, just like I am of mine. And he'll tell me something that his kids are doing. And when I leave the, the appointment, I'll make a little note in Evernote uh, uh, with, the, with the name of the dentist, obviously, and his contact information. And I write down that his son is interested in this and his daughter's starting college and things like that. So the next time I go see him, I go, well, so how's your daughter? What college did she decide to go to? Makes a little extra connection. I also collect motivational quotes. I've been doing this forever. Um, I'm inspired by once in a while just opening up that file and just reading something. And sometimes uh, if somebody is going through a particular issue in their lives or whatever, um, I might look up a motivational quote and send it to them. I have a list of books I've read and want to read. <laughs> the number of times that I've picked up a book and said, oh, I want to read this only to check my list. And yeah, you read that book five years ago. <laughs> I have pictures of my car's license plates, um, insurance documents, and maintenance records. I have a list of contractors that I use. If you give me a recommendation for a plumber, it's going to go on my contractor list. I also have a family notebook. When my kids were small, it included their school information, names, numbers of their friends. Now that they're all grown up, I've scanned in pictures of a lot of their school artwork. Nice memories. I have a medical file for me and my wife that includes our latest prescription information. I also have a copy of the prescription for my eyeglasses. Could come in handy someday if I'm traveling. So as you can see, it's quite a varied list. These are things I like to track and are important to me. You know, your list may be totally different. In fact, I'd love to know if you have any out of the ordinary items in your Evernote file. Leave a comment below. I'd, I'd love to read them. Oh, and by the way, next week, I'm going to be hosting a free seminar on how to make Evernote your all-encompassing productivity system using the principles of GTD. For some time, I've been sharing ideas on how to use Evernote and GTD, but I want to show you my full system for integrating both of those powerful tools. So I've been working on this seminar, which will not only be free, but it will be on demand next week. It'll only be around for about a week, so I hope that you reserve your seat. I'll be sending out instructions on how to access each session. Now, for more information, 
go to daveedwardsmedia.com, fill out the form on that page. That's all you need to do, and I'll do the rest. This is a seminar that will help you. I'm really excited to pull back the curtain on how I integrate GTD and Evernote. Join me next week. Go to daveedwardsmedia.com for more information.